Hey kiddos, getting her back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, and if I sound a little angry, it's because I am. But this emulator decided it didn't want to run my controller anymore, so now I'm using the keyboard, which is going to be annoying. But I should get through it. I mean, it's an NES emulator, it's not exactly that difficult. If it was like the Super Nintendo emulator, or like the PlayStation emulator, I'd be mad. But we're going to... But today we're going to finish the uh, Basidia Cave to get that crystal rod there so we can break the seal on Ultima. In fact, the actually, can we get an ice bow? Don't let the game fool you. The only thing required to break the seal on Ultima is the crystal rod. However, you cannot get the crystal rod without the white and the black mask, so. A little bit of a catch-22 there. And even still, with the keyboard, I can't get over freaking having my last person hit themselves or someone else by having the game decide, hey, you're gonna move the cursor too far to the left there, and she's gonna smack herself in the head, whatever. More bulls can stun you with their physical attacks, however, it just stun doesn't seem to last all that long, as anyone's ever gotten hit by it has just recovered in the first turn. Here we get an Ogre X. It's guarded by a few bombs, nothing too cataclysmic that you need to worry about. Okay, just keep on moving. Ignore this door. And move to the left around the water. There we go. And here's the door you want. All the way around the opposite end of the floor. And leads down to the next floor. Okay, we're up in the upper left corner here. There's a nice chest there in the corner. The floor actually has a very linear path there where... You're pretty much restricted from going anywhere. You can run into souls and red souls on this floor. They do the same thing they used to do, which is absorb all magic, so just be careful with that. The annoying part is that they like to appear with a group of mallows and puddings, which are, or not puddings, jellies, that are weak to magic, so... So you have to make a choice between trying to... We get a potion in here, whoop de do. There are three other uh, treasure chests on this floor, and I'm, they're behind one of these doors, but I'm not sure which one. So I'm gonna have to actually do an experiment to try. That's uh, not this one. Ah, crap. We have Fleers, which are... Looks like upgraded Manta Rays. Uh, let's try Bolt, huh? don't know what's going on here. So I'll just keep physically attacking them. Okay, they don't seem to be super physically strong. That's about 500 HP done there. Okay, so Bolt is not their weakness. But they are not physically invincible. And they do a bunch of damage. You know, everyone has like 80% physical hit like dodging. What? Let's try ice. Everybody has 80% like physical hit dodging. How are they getting hit that often? I mean, well, I suppose, you know, okay, they're not weak to ice neither. I suppose expecting them to be, you know, evasive and everything is rather over, or rather arrogant to me, but oh well. Yeah, because like, she got hit twice there. She's got like three chances to dodge everything. Uh, keep training Drain there, because you want that, because you want your casters, especially Amanda, to be able to get back into fighting shape on their own, which is why I'm waiting for a certain spell that we get here in this dungeon. It's not on this floor, though. It's on the next one. Anyway, that's the flyer. I don't know. Just an upgraded Manta Ray there. Ooh, D's gained more HP. He only took like 100 damage. What's he at now? 998! That's a cure 5, everybody. Wow, that didn't do jack. Uh, I forget which monster it is in this dungeon. I think it's a soul. But they can drop ethers, so I'm just going to drop that on myself there. 
That was a free other. I didn't actually bring that into the dungeon. Let's try the middle door. Here we are. We get a phoenix down. You can run into uh, gold or G chimeras. I guess they're gold. Uh, as a random encounter. I'm not sure if it's just in this room or this floor, but you need to be careful. So, uh, Layla burned some of her otherwise useless MP. She hit over 600 HP, so that's pretty good. She is not the... Well, I don't really think this, this is much of a spoiler, but she's not the final uh, member of our party for the end of the game there. We're getting close to it. There's a few dungeons left and some minor things to get to, but... Here we get... You're carrying too much. So what do I need to do? Um, we'll just for this, this that. Here we get a gold needle, and obviously I'm carrying too much for this one. Uh, what else do I need here? What else, what else do I not need is the question. Um, I don't want to do this, but this was this free phoenix down, so I don't need that. And here we get a silent bee, which is... Ah, we have a the red skeleton, a ghost, as well as a flower. Uh, get rid of the ghost, like, immediately. Because he can curse you. All of you. And that's not cool. You know? Oh good, we got the drop on him. As an undead, it is of course weak to fire, and I don't know why I overestimated its strength there. Or I underestimated how much damage mana would do with a single target fire spell, but... Okay, so we're going to waste most of the surprise round on nothing, but okay. Uh, Man is going to do very little other than cast Drain for the rest of this battle. I want it to at least level 3 before I enter the next dungeon. I may decide after this dungeon to take some time to train some spells. Some of the ones she's, you know, doesn't have very much use for. Holy will not be trained in any real sense. I'm just gonna roll with it as is and throw a cast at it every once in a while just so I can say, haha, I holy do. Other than that, stairs, uh, the door for the next floor is down here. Yeah, here we have this. Now you've reached the final floor. Ooh, a treasure chest immediately. And I'm carrying too much junk. Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? You do not need this power staff. I wish I had more inventory space. And we get a drain spell. But it's guarded by monsters. The ghost enemies, the red skeletons, have uh, pretty good... I just want to teach drain to... Uh, I want to teach it to myself, but I know I have terrible intelligence. But I'm going to anyway. Just so I can attempt to train that for the end of the game. Okay, we're just going to keep going this way, around. Man, the encounter right here is pretty bad. I mean, it's not as bad as some of the other places in this game, but... I think... I always did like the nice touch of using a boss enemy... Or what constitutes a boss enemy later in the game as just a regular enemy. We get the mini spell that you can abuse, but I'm not going to. Uh, we have, uh... Well, we have different color toads. Poison toads, I guess. Can we get another ambush. Yay! A tusk enemy that is defeated easily. Well, that's a poison toad. Can probably poison you, but all right. You know, you want to train drain here. Uh, there we go. How about let's start attacking that one? Da -da -da. These should get rid of the bottom one. 
Or maybe not. Damn. Pretty tough, huh? Okay. Let's focus on that one. Cast Drain again on the bottom one. Okay, go for that one, and Layla attack the bottom one just in case. Oh, and of course it dies, right? And she's gonna cast it nobody. Now Amanda has a reason to start draining again. Nothing too concerned. Just a pee toad. Yeah, we're just gaining agility like mad. And this is... We have too much junk. Does Amanda know the mini spell? No, but she's only got one spot left, so I'm not going to bother. I'll teach it to Layla there. Okay, this is a potion. Well, we're wounded. Might as well, rather than throw them away, just start using them. Alright, be something good. A potion. Damn it. There we go. Put that away. Be something good! Oh, come on, really? Uh, if. Yeah. Alright, I could make the pretense, like, and say, make that joke again, but obviously this is a fourth potion. <laughs> I don't know why they felt the need to put four treasure chests to get your hopes up and having some awesome stuff there, and then it's like, oh, we're just gonna put potions in it, don't worry. Alright, there's one other treasure left on this floor that I actually want. This game likes to annoy me by giving me battles that I can't actually run away from that are annoying. Like, soul jelly battles where there's like eight of them and I really don't feel like dealing with it. Once again, beat on Amanda Day as they just continue to attack her endlessly. No thought or remorse. Ugh. Damn jellies and freaking souls and bleh. Yeah, Amanda's drain hit level 3, so it'll do about 100 or so HP restoration, which is good at keeping her HP up. I mean, for a very relatively low MP cost. And here we have the final thing in the game here. This should be a drain spell. This should be... Uh, just... No, I don't want to freaking exit the menu. What do I want to give to somebody here? This casts the, uh, the spell that passes to silence your enemies there. It's never useful enough. This should be the Almighty Aspil, as it has been renamed later games as Aspir. Oh, what am I doing? It is, at this point, the, well, what looks like the end spell I'm going to teach to Amanda there. I'm going to get rid of her things like sleep and stone and blind and spells she's not using. Eventually, when I feel like it. But, or when I want to teach her something else. Figures the last battle will be another annoying jelly soul fight anyway. We get what we came here for, the crystal rod. Yay! Let's see if we can uh, escape out of here. If there's an invisible plot wall, it's going to keep me in the dungeon. Nope, we're good. Good night. Woo! Alright, I'm going to rest up, head back to Mesidia on my own time, and, uh... Next, we're going to go put that crystal rod to use and, uh, you know, and go after the Forbidden Magic of Ultima, the best black magic spell that is probably not going to be useful by the time we get it. Yay! Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support, and I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy 2. Until then, everybody, have a good night.